quantitative research. A few weeks ago, when we introduced the topic of research methods, I said that quality refers to the essence, the what, why, when, and how of things, while quantity refers to the amount of something. For the past several weeks, we have been studying qualitative methods, and this week we look at the nature of quantitative methods. Quantitative research relies on the collection of numerical data, which is then subjected to analysis using statistical routines. Rather than a rich textual descriptive treatment of a subject, quantitative research provides brief presentations of distributions, tables, graphs, and formula-driven findings to describe, compare, and show relationships between and among a carefully defined set of variables. The quantitative research methodologies that we will explore this week are descriptive research, which attempts to describe and explain conditions of the present. It relies on qualitative and quantitative data gathered from written documents, personal interviews, test results, and surveys. Correlational research, which attempts to explore relationships or make predictions. It relies on quantitative data such as test scores, election polls, and opinion surveys, which can be correlated and shown that some relationship exists between or among them. Experimental research, which attempts to explore cause and effect relationships, where causes can be manipulated to produce different kinds of effects. It relies mostly on quantitative data such as test scores, opinion surveys, and measures of performance. Ex post facto, also known as causal comparative research, which attempts to explore cause and effect relationships where causes already exist and cannot be manipulated. It relies on both qualitative and quantitative data such as written documents, interviews, and test scores. And survey research, which involves collecting information such as characteristics, attitudes, opinions, and experiences about one or more groups of people by asking questions and tabulating their answers. Please read carefully chapters 9 and 10 of Levy and Ormrod for lengthier descriptions of these methods. Also be aware that there is not complete agreement on the terminology used for these methods. Some textbooks, for instance, consider surveys as tools of research to be used with other methodologies and not a methodology in and of itself.